Jeffrey, let's go through what COPD is and how it works. And doctor, you are a big part of the foundation also, right? That's correct. Okay. I uh, serve as a clinical and research advisor to the COPD Foundation. That's great. Tell us what happens to the body when you're suffering from this. Well, I think unfortunately for some patients, uh, they get what we call small airway disease. So COPD actually lives all the way out at the periphery of the lung. Uh, I think it's miscommon or at least unrecognized that the large airway, which is generally where asthma lives, uh, also can have some degrees of, uh, of severity of illness. But for most patients, it's going to be the small airway, a tiny, tiny airway with small amount of muscle that's actually been damaged uh, due to chronic inflammation, due to uh, either cigarette smoking or, or biomass fuel in inhalation. But the idea is that for many of our patients, they start to develop mucus uh, or more increased phlegm, and that also can cause increased resistance within the airway, which also makes it harder for patients to, uh, to take a good quality breath. So the idea that we've got some fibrosis scarring that happens all the way out at the periphery of the lung, and that we also have mucus that, uh, that will unfortunately trap within the, the airways of the lung, causes folks to have increasing cough, shortness of breath, and inability to, to complete their activities through the day.